In this video, we're going to continue our discussion on defense mechanisms. In the last video, we looked at a few types of immature defense mechanisms. Here are a couple more. We have regression, which is reverting to an immature behavior at an earlier stage of psychosexual development. An example is a person at a restaurant who throws a tantrum because the restaurant has run out of the dessert they want. We also have repression, which is keeping distressing thoughts buried in the unconscious. An example would be a soldier who has no recollection of a traumatic event that occurred at war. Okay, so these are immature defense mechanisms. We'll now look at mature defense mechanisms, a key distinguishing factor being that not everyone is capable of every mature defense mechanism. We have displacement, which is transferring emotional feelings from the original target to a substitute target. An example would be a child who is angry at their sibling. Rather than hitting their sibling, the child goes and breaks their toy. So in this case, the child is transferring their feelings of anger from the original subject, their sibling, to a substitute target, the toy. Okay. Next, we have rationalization. This is giving logical reasons for unacceptable behavior. An example would be a student cheating on an exam because everyone does it. Their logical reason that everyone does it allows them to justify the unacceptable behavior, cheating on the exam. We also have reaction formation. This is denying one's true feelings and behaving in the exact opposite way. This has been demonstrated with homophobes. So homophobes often mistreat gay individuals, and it's actually been found that many of these homophobes actually have homosexual desires. So essentially they're denying their true feelings, they're denying their homosexual desires, and instead they're acting in the opposite way and mistreating gay individuals. Okay. And then we have sublimation. This is channeling unacceptable sexual or aggressive drives into socially acceptable actions. An example is someone who is really angry decides to play football. So football is a way for them to channel their feelings of anger, their aggression. And it should be noted that Freud believed that everyone uses defense mechanisms and it only becomes a problem when individuals become dependent on them. All right, so those are our two videos on defense mechanisms. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and clicking the bell icon for notifications. We release new videos every week covering the highest yield content on the MCAT, Plus, you can check out the video description for links to useful resources like our MCAT Prep mobile application.